Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Kelly Swoop and I'm Jamie Costello. Well, the day's long manhunt for David Linthicum is over in the early morning hours of today. Authorities took him into custody in Hartford County. WMER 2 News Jack Watson has been following the story from the very beginning since it broke on Wednesday night. He joins us now live from shock trauma. Jack, what can you tell us? Well, Kelly, it's been just over a day since that detective was rushed here tonight. There is not an official update just yet on that detective's condition, but at last word, he was fighting for his life. It started with an encounter with police on Wednesday, snowballing into a long search, a dramatic Thursday night chase and an early Friday morning arrest. We got our hands on official documents tonight, which give us much more insight into the pursuit of David Linthicum. Documents from Linthicum's Wednesday encounter with police say Linthicum's father called police for his son, whom he says was suicidal. The documents say the officer and father walked down the basement steps and David shot at them with a semi-automatic rifle 15 times, sending an officer to the hospital. That officer is now recovering at home. We admitted a Baltimore County police officer with multiple gunshot wounds to his torso and his extremities. But another member of law enforcement, a detective, is still fighting for his life. Documents reveal the identity of the detective. Out of respect for his family's privacy, WMAR is choosing not to release his name at this time. What we can tell you is the detective is a decorated member of the force who's been serving since 2008. He received an award just last year for exceptional group performance. New documents say on Thursday night, the detective pursued the subject on foot on nearby Warren Road. Investigators say Linthicum fired at the detective and he returned fire, but was shot in the face, leg, torso, and arms. Police say Linthicum stole the detective's unmarked police car and raced all the way to Harford County. The sheriff there telling us this afternoon he's thankful the hours long standoff in his county ended peacefully. Life is precious. We don't want to be forced into a position of taking a life. And I really thought that that's where this was going to end. And, um, you know, me and I think so many other you know, police officers here and in Baltimore County are pleased that the individual was arrested. The official charges facing David Linthicum include attempted murder, first degree assault and armed carjacking. He is in jail without bail at this hour and he's scheduled to be in court on Monday. Tonight, those neighborhoods in Baltimore and Harford counties can finally take a breath. Well, again, as of that latest update, the Baltimore County detective is still being treated here at the shock trauma center. We do know, according to doctors, that he will need a, quote, significant amount of reconstruction. And a doctor last night said he'd be with them for a while. For now, we are live in Baltimore. Jack Watson, WMAR 2 News.